Ahead of the 93rd Air Force Day, Air Chief Marshal Amar Preet Singh made a strong statement of confidence. India's own fifth generation fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA, is on schedule. The first flight is expected in year 2028 and induction into the Air Force by year 2035. The Air Chief confirmed that AMCA program remains firmly on track, developed jointly by ADA and HAL. The aircraft's first flight will take place by 2028, with formal induction into service by 2035. The Air Chief also addressed recent speculation about a potential purchase of Russia's Su-57 fighter, clarifying that any foreign acquisition would be subject to a rigorous evaluation process based strictly on the Indian Air Force's operational needs, which is based on two-pronged approach, prioritizing the development of homegrown military technology under the Atmanirbhar Bharat policy while simultaneously keeping options open for international purchases to address the current shortfall in squadron strength. He also hinted that milestones could come even earlier given the pace of development and government's commitment to indigenous technologies. India's first stealth multi-role fighter, capable of air superiority, strike and electronic warfare missions, it will feature internal weapons bay for low radar visibility, super cruise capability and advanced data fusion networks. In many ways, the aircraft is set to become the backbone of India's future combat fleet, bridging the technological gap with China's J-20 and other fifth-generation platforms. But what makes the Air Chief's confidence more than just optimism is the progress already achieved in key technology areas. Many of AMCA's core technologies have already been developed and tested on other aircrafts, drastically reducing risk. These technologies include the Uttam ESA radar, diverter-less supersonic intakes, and advanced composites, all validated on Tejas light combat aircraft. The government, in March of 2024, sanctioned over 50,000 crore rupees for the AMCA's full-scale engineering and development phase, signaling long-term commitment to indigenous defense research and development. While India builds its future fleet at home, the Air Chief also addressed ongoing discussions about foreign fighter acquisitions. With older aircraft like MiG-21 being phased out, Indian Air Force is currently operating around 31 squadrons against the sanctioned strength of 42. To fulfill this gap, India is evaluating several options under the Multi-Role Fighter Aircraft or the MRFA program including the French Rafale, American F-35, and Russian Su-57. However, the Indian Air Force chief made it clear, no deal is imminent. Any foreign acquisition, he said, will undergo a rigorous evaluation process strictly aligned with Indian Air Force's operational requirements. So what does this mean for India's fighter roadmap? The message is clear. Indigenization first, imports only if necessary. The Air Chief's remarks reflect Indian Air Force's balanced strategy, building long-term technological autonomy through indigenous platforms like the AMCA, while addressing short-term gaps through selective global partnerships. This twin-track approach is fully aligned with government's Atmanirbhar Bharat policy, ensuring India's skies are defended by aircraft made for its specific needs. The Air Chief's message ahead of Air Force Day was unmistakable. The future of India's air power will be shaped not by imports, but by innovations. From Tejas to AMCA, India is not just flying higher, it is flying on wings built at home.